throughout uh, centuries and years and since the beginning of time, we have been meat eaters. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We've been yeah, born yeah. to that. We have our fingernails, we have our canines, we have our, our jaws are in certain ways. So, so we're then going against what nature has told us to do. And how would you argue against that? Firstly, from a biological perspective, you know, our canines are good for biting through apples and stuff as well. Pretty terrible for tearing through flesh. If you want a piece of, pick up a piece of chicken and try and tear through it, you're going to struggle. So I don't think it's necessarily that these biological things we look to necessarily indicative of, you know, being these, you know, successful meat eaters. But at the same time, I think it's kind of beside the point. You know, we live in homes. We have medications. We have microphones to record podcasts because we enjoy listening to them. Nothing that we do is, is natural anymore. Yeah. And actually society is a lot better for it. You know, we, we have medications to treat natural diseases. You know, people get anthrax, which is a natural disease. We take synthetic antibiotics to treat it. So it's not important what's natural. What's important is how do we create a better society? And for me, a better society is one that pursues the reduction of suffering. Mm -hmm. So even if we have for all of our history, which most of us, you know, culturally speaking, have, you know, eaten meat and survived off meat and needed to eat meat to get to where we are, I'm not ever gonna deny that. The point is now in a current context, is it beneficial for us? Is it helping us create this version of the world that we want to live in or is it stopping us from progressing? And I think it's holding us back from creating this world, which is ultimately more in alignment with the values that we say that we have. You know, if you ask anyone, are you against animal suffering? Are you against animal cruelty? Every single person will say yes, unless they're clearly psychopathic. And we think that's scary. So then the question becomes, how does what we do to animals, how does the fact that we raise billions, you know, trillions when we factor in marine animals, how does that suffering that we cause them and the unnecessary deaths that are inflicted upon them, how does that factor into our morals of saying that we're against animal suffering? You know, if kicking a dog is animal cruelty and makes you a bad person, then what does cutting the throat of a cow mean? What does, you know, putting a pig in a gas chamber mean? You know, the Olympics were just on and there was global outrage because someone punched a horse. Well, if punching a horse is, is worthy of global condemnation, then why isn't killing trillions of animals every single year? trillions? When you fact, yeah, it's, it's mm. 83 billion land animals and 0.8 to 2.3 trillion marine animals. That is mad. It's outrageous, isn't it?